I am again here with a new video and the topic is ion exchange chromatography. Earlier we, we discussed about the affinity chromatography and some basics of chromatography. So friends as I already told you the every type of chromatography is depends upon two phases that is stationary phase and the mobile phase. So in ion exchange chromatography also we have two phases that is stationary phase. Stationary phase is agarose or cellulose and mobile phase in ion exchange chromatography is liquid that contains ions so basically the first question is that what is ion exchange chromatography so ion exchange chromatography it is a process used to, used to separate different polar or charged or molecules or ions from a mixture mixture may say polar or charged molecules ko separate karne ka process ko hum ion exchange chromatography kehte hain so only hydrophilic molecules can be separate out from this method this is the one important thing to remember that only hydrophilic molecules are used to are you uh, separate out from this uh, method so friends now le let's take a look how this chromatography works or how it's working so stationary phase it contains different kinds of charges uh, let us example a positive and b negative we have two types of charge in stationary phase and in mobile phase also we have two types of charges that may be c positive or d negative uh, we are taking these charges only to convenience only to make it convenient two charges are present in stationary phase and two charges is in the mobile phase so friends when these two phases interact with each other as we know the positive ones attracts towards the negative charge so this positive charge attracts towards the negative charge and this negative charge attracts towards this positive charge so this is the process how the attraction of these between these uh, two different kind of charges takes place after this attraction where after this interaction of two phases that is stationary phase and mobile phase we got after this interaction and this attraction between charges that is a positive charge and negative charge we have exchanged the after this complete exchange after this exchange of charges after this attraction of charges we have stationary phase and mobile phase and these charges are completely exchanged from mobile phase to stationary phase and from stationary phase to mobile phase as we have as we can see here this complete charged moved or exchanged from this side and this complete moved from this side move from this to this side so c plus plus d negative charge is moved to stationary phase and a positive plus b negative move to mobile phase this is how ion exchange chromatography works this is the basic idea how ex ion exchange chromatography works and now we will talk about some applications of ion exchange chromatography ion exchange chromatography can be used in water testing labs it can be used in water treatment plants one important line is that you it can be used for testing for firing ring molecule that is chlorophyll and the, another important uh, is, line is that a single charge can alter the whole process as it totally depends on charge the number of charge so a single charge can alter the whole process of ion exchange chromatography so friends please like share and subscribe for more videos thank you